Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Amori. In the last episode, we defeated Sweetheart and escaped her castle. And yeah, we're and we're back into the real world again. So let's go. And now we have to go to the faraway park to. What? What the heck? What happened here? Dang it, it must have been Arbor a scooter gang. Sunny, be honest, do I smell? Keep getting a run sometimes. Hey, Kel. Hey, Sunny. What's up, Basil? Nice to see you out and about. Are you feeling better after yesterday? Huh? Yesterday? What do you mean? You had a big stomach ache, didn't you? That's why I had to go to the bathroom? Uh, oh, right. Yes, I feel much better now. Do you want to hang out with us today? Sunny's not going to be around for much longer, you know. I don't know. Maybe tomorrow. Sorry. No, don't worry. You don't have to force yourself. You can always catch up later. Yeah, you're right. Okay then. See you later later then, I guess. Hey neighbor, how's it going? Hey Cal. Oh, who's that with who else is with you? Oh wait, I recognize you. It's Sunny, isn't it? Sorry, it's been a while. I think I've only met a few times. My family always has lived here, but I was sent off to boarding school for a few years and just came out two three years ago, I think. Hey Sunny, Chris is my next door neighbor and she's really cool. She's the fastest swimmer in school. When she's in the water, people compare her to a mermaid. Or a shark. Or even a torpedo. No, Kel, you're never short on comp compliments, huh? Are you going to try out for the Junior for our City basketball team this year? I'm sure you'll be a shoe in but... Oh, I'll try. I've been playing every now and then with strangers at the park. I think I'm getting better, but it's hard to tell. If I practice basketball as much as you practice swimming, I'd probably have a better chance. Well, I'm not that hardworking. It feels fun to me, honestly. And besides, even though I love swimming in pools, I love swimming in the ocean even more. I love everything about the ocean. The beach, the sound of the waves, even the smell of seaweed. Uh, sorry, I sound a bit obsessed. That's totally fine. It's good that people passionate about something, isn't it? I guess. Actually, I think all this started because I wanted to go to boarding school on an island and really enjoyed my time there. It just reminds me of the friends I made there. Well, maybe I can see them again one day. But, for the time being, I guess I'll be collecting seashells and stuff. You know, that story kind of reminds me of this, but Sunny is actually moving away here pretty soon. Maybe you can give them some tips on how to handle moving far away. Ugh. Maybe you can give them some tips on how to handle moving away into a new place. Oh, Sunny is moving. Hmm. Well, being away from my friends is pretty tough at first, but it changes the fact of life. It's the memories you make with them that you cherish. You know what? I just decided something. If you see any seashells, can you bring them to me? They're kind of hard to find around here, but I'll make sure it's worth it. Alright. <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm. Unless he just says something. Okay, now what do we do? By the way, sorry for yesterday's drama. I'm just in a really stressful time in my life right now. It's, I don't know, it's just things going on in my mind. Oh well, I'm, I still enjoy doing this, so don't worry. Alright, now what do I have to do? Let's see, I'm pretty sure we have to start up at Gino's Pizza in the bakery in other mart. You the way, Sonny. Gino's Pizza is the bomb. That is one disgusting, dirty looking, greasy looking pizza. Just the way I like it. Let's dig in. So, so we're still on. Our, so we're still on to go to our secret hangout spot, right? Again, I'm gonna bring my fishing pole. I made it myself out of a cool stick and a jump rope yesterday. Do you think it'll work, Charlie? Heh. <laughs> so we're going to our secret hangout spot. That's a perfect date spot. I'll be sure to bring one of my special ladies. Swimming sounds. Pretty fun. Well, while you're all fooling around ba being babies, I'm gonna be busy skipping rocks. I've been looking for the perfect rocks all week. You can try all you want, Kim, but you'll never be Aubrey's record. Shut up, Michael. Like any girl actually would go to the, the lake with you without paying them. I told you to call me the math. Ugh, I bit my tongue. What a loser. Master, are you hurt? <laughs> Hello, welcome to Gino's Pizza. What can I get here? I'm here to pick up an order. I see. What would you like? Oh, I know. Would you like pizza? I think my mom pulled in for a hero sandwich this morning. I'm just here to pick it up. Oh, I see. You're the family that keeps ordering sandwiches instead of pizza. But it's on the menu, isn't it? Yeah, you're right. I guess so. Okay, I'll go get it. You know, I don't know if I ever told you this, but that's why my brother's nickname is Hero. You'd think it's, it's because of some really cool reason, like you saved the puppy when he was a kid or something. But no, he really just likes sandwiches. Okay, here's your hero sandwich. Please enjoy. Oh, thanks. Alright, we're good to go, Sonny. I'm ready when you are. We just need to get the cookies from the bakery and other mart. Where are some cookies at? Oh, it's not that way apparently. Here we go. Wait, this is the pharmacy, not the cookie. That's not the bakery. Here we 
go. Welcome to the family bakery. What would you like? Hi, I'm here to pick up an order. Hmm, oh yes. Your mother said you'd be coming. Although I expected you to be here a tad earlier. I'll give you your order. I don't know why I keep replacing words with other words. It's just how I read, I guess. I don't know. Did you know this bakery belongs to Michael's family? I guess you can't really tell because he wears that horrible yellow wig all the time. Seems like he's being making a big, pretty big effort to stand out and be different. Here's your order, sir. Hope to see you again soon. Please enjoy your baked goods. Cool, thanks. Alright, we're good to go now, Sonny. I'm ready when you are. Baked goods, check. Sandwiches, check. Well, that's everything. Just in time, too. Looks like the sun is about to set. Let's go to my house. Yo should be coming home any time now. Okay, now we're gonna run the way back all the way to, uh... I'm not wanting in the street. I'm crossing the road. Before we go in, I should probably mention that my mom is going to be a little mad about me taking so long with the groceries. I was supposed to bring everything around noon, but I got carried away and doing other stuff and... Well, you know how it goes. But anyways, I thought of a solution for this. So, I think you should walk in first. That way she'll see you and get all excited. And most importantly, she'll forget to yell at me. It's a win-win for everyone. Got it? Okay, let's go. Mom, Sonny's here. What took you so long, Cal? I sent you off hours ago. How long does it take to get a bunch of sandwiches? Oh my, is that Sonny? It must be. It's so good to see you again. But you look so thin. Have you been eating properly? Here's the stuff you or or asked for, Mom. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, Sonny, let's go upstairs to my room. Now wait just a second, young man. Bye, Mom. See you when dinner's ready. Well, here it is. Make yourself at home. Look, I got basketball hoop and boombox just like I always wanted. Here, I'll play a song for you. Yep, it's pretty sweet. Mom won't let me play it too loud, though, because she says it'll be bad for Sally. Oh, wait. You haven't met Sally yet, huh? <laughs> Guess what, Sonny? I'm a big brother now. Sally's my baby sister. My mom will, pretty... my mom will probably bring her downstairs around dinner time. She's really small and really cute, huh? Hell, there's a girl at the door. She says she wants to see you. Huh? I wonder who that could be. Oh, who is this young little lady? Why didn't you tell me that we'd have so many guests coming over? Hey, Kel. Hey, Sonny. Sorry for intruding. I was wondering if you knew where Basil is. I thought he might be with you. Basil? Hmm. We did see him at the park earlier, but that was a while ago. If you see him, can you tell him to come home? I'm really worried about him. Well, of course, Polly. He'll be on the lookout. Thanks. I knew I could count on you guys. Basil is missing today? I have a bad feeling about this. Especially when Aubrey and the scooter gang around. Maybe we should find him before it gets dark. Can we go look for him, Mom? 
pretty please? Well, that girl did look awfully worried. Okay, just make sure you're home by dinner. Okay, once again, we're on a hunt for Basil, just like in the dream world. Okay, let's check the park. Basil B. I didn't see him anywhere. Somebody help! Sonny, did you hear that? I think that was Basil. Help me, please! Where is this voice coming from? Hold on a sec, I know this area. Basil's voice is coming from the old hangout spot. The entrance should be around here somewhere. What the heck are you yelling for us, Basil? You're not gonna see. This place is our secret hangout spot. You can't be here because you weren't invited. Dang it, Basil, be quiet. Someone's gonna find this place. Yeah, we're not trying to hurt you. We just want you to get out of here. Hey, stop it. What are you doing to Basil? What the? It's Kel and Sunny again. Why do you always show up? Why do you- how do you even find this place? Come on, Aubrey, we gotta fend our turf. Aubrey. Go away, Kel, you're not welcome here. This is our spot. Oh, is this your spot now? Well, this used to be our old hangout spot, wasn't it, Aubrey? Watch it or we'll mess you up. Fine. If that's how it's going to be, then at least stop bullying Basil. We're not even doing anything. We just started screaming for no reason. Yeah, sure you weren't. Why should I believe you? I'm telling the truth. Stop being a self-righteous prick. Come on, guys. Let's make sure you, it's the last time you see mess with us. Sounds good to me. I'm right behind you, Maverick. Let's settle this, Cal. If you and Sonny are gonna pick a fight with me and my friends, you got one. Come on, gang. Let's teach him a lesson. Now we're fighting everyone, I guess. I guess this is an impossible battle considering Kel took 70 damage. Hey, yeah, that's not a lot of damage. Yeah, this is an impossible battle. Calm down. Hmm. Is, is this real life? We won, we won! Serves you right, nerds. Damn, I'm hungry. Let's go get you some food. <laughs> Kel, Sunny, get the heck out of here. Oh, we really did it. The evil fellows have been defeated. Dang. Sorry, Sonny. Why I think we take on six people at once. Even though they're a bunch of dweebs. It's over, Kel. Leave this place. You don't belong here anymore. No, I won't. 
can't just sit here knowing that this is the person you've become. I mean, what would Murray think? Why do you keep bringing her up? Do I have to keep saying it? Murray is already dead. Can you stop with that? While you're at it, drop the tough guy act too. I don't believe you when you say you don't care about us anymore. You all have your new friends now, but you're still hanging out at our old hangout spot. Do I really have to spell it out for you? Don't listen to him, Aubrey. He's just spouting crap like usual. Right, Aubrey? Oh, this isn't fun anymore. I want to go home. Let's get out of here. You said it. You coming, Aubrey? Oh, okay. Catch you later, then. Aubrey? Why? Why do you keep telling me coming back? I just wanted you to leave me alone. Sonny, why? Why did you show up now? You went to see Miss with Basil. What's your deal with him all of a sudden? We used to be friends. We all used to be. You think I'm the bully, but you're messed up too. Where were you when Murray died? Where were any of you? And you. You're the worst, Basil. How dare you still show your face after me after what you did. Aubrey, I... Get away from me! Shoot. What the heck, Aubrey? What are you doing? You've taken this way too far. Wait, hold on. I didn't mean to. Sonny, don't worry about uh, Aubrey. I'll be super busy. Just go help Basil. back home. Underwater, though? What's going on? Is that Mari or something? Is this? I know it's just like a dream, like in his middle mind kind of scene thing. But yeah. Something drags you down. But okay, I go always really calm down first. Get rid of that fade emotion. Now let's focus. Steady your heartbeat. Don't be afraid. It's not as scary as you think. You have to keep going. Don't give up. No matter how impossible it seems. Reach out to the voice and remember how to persist. 
Persistent. Zero. Mm. Looks like Basil's breathing is steady, but we need to get him somewhere warm quickly. Yeah, he had a rough day. Let's get him home as po soon as possible. Wait, where do you think you're all going? That's enough. Don't you think you've caused enough trouble? Come on, guys. We've got to go. Alright. Let's get out of here. Okay, I think I'll call that an episode for now. Uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, all that stuff, I guess. And uh, we'll find out what happens next soon. Anyways, see ya.